Hey, family. What up, family? So, we have. How you doing? Oh, okay. How you doing today? Oh, you can't forget face. us. <laughs> How you doing today? How you So, we have doing? our beautiful baby sister and, well, my beautiful baby sister yeah, in the back. She's not my baby sister. <laughs> <laughs> she's visiting and. Uh, hey, uh, we get to spend the weekend. We're gonna question her a little bit. Yep. So, are you excited to be with us? Well, duh. <laughs> well, that was a good answer. Um, she said her drive here was long. Um, and she was sleepy. Yeah, she was tired. She had a teen moment. If you guys don't know what that is, she had a temper tantrum. <laughs> I can't be woken up. But um, what are you excited about for this weekend? Just getting to spend time with my family and getting to see all my sisters again. And, Aww. You know, it's been a while. See you guys like once a year. Yeah. yeah. And I even miss school to come. Yeah. <laughs> and I have tests. Oh. And yeah, you can make it up. Yeah. I can okay, make it up. I took like four, like five of my tests already. So. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, that's good. I passed all of them. And that's better. That's even better. It's gonna get dark. I know. I'm gonna look all like crazy. Uh, so. Then, like family reunion, can I talk about that? I guess. Yeah. I well, yeah, because I told him last night that we was gonna have family. Okay. So, um, there's a family reunion. What are you excited about most about family reunion? Should I be honest? Yeah. Yes. The food. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I concur on that one. Like, yeah. I love spending time with family, but ooh, okay. we. Like, It'd be even better if we have the food there. The food <laughs> is. The bun. Oh my gosh, I can't even. Like, I can just see all the food that Granny. Like, I can just see all the food. All the food that you're about to stuff your she face She was up with. at what, five o'clock this morning, she said? Yeah. Cooking. Mm. Grilling. Y'all, it smells so good in there. Mm. But, um, Jayla here is like, where are you going to stay? In my room? I live with the parents, by you the do? way. Yeah. You got to. Uh, you know what? Like, it just kills me. You guys still, the like, we are the parents. Because you guys are. <laughs> Parents. It's always like um, the parents. Yeah. This is my mom. This is, you know, like they would, you know, like the other girls would be like, this is my dad. These are the parents. <laughs> um, I stay with the parents. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just so used to calling y'all that. But well, um, don't you have a big house? With well, no. Some things occurred. Anyways, we'll question her some more later. Yeah, I'm sick bad. right now. She sounds sick. Say hi. Hi, beautiful. Hi to who? The family. What up, fam? I already this got one Sir spoon Charles. around here somewhere. This is what Sir Charles look like after work. Our day at work. What are you doing? I'm, I'm videoing. Once she comes, I don't know where she went. She's hiding. You gotta make a video. We've already made we one. Already one yet. I know I've seen it, but what's this one? This is the, the making the of the making. blanket. What up, fam? We've been okay. party this weekend. Where's she at? We've been party at. Where's she come at? Come out, come out. We're ready for you. Hello? Oh. Oh. What the heck are you doing? Uh, she. <laughs> what are you doing? You gotta come out here so I can see you guys. Come on out so we can see you. No, you gotta come in here too. Who? You. You yeah, know who I am. Yeah, but they want to see you guys together. Come on, Jayla. No, she's going around the other way. She's right here. We've already we already videoed her a little you bit. Get you on video now, man. Look. Yeah, we are. We are. Oh. Aww. <laughs> oh, it's my, it's like my Jayla, fam. Jayla, the missing one is missing in action. From St. Louis, you know she <laughs> she see you see I've seen some of her videos, and <laughs> clips and stuff. Here she's live in, in living color. I know. Look, twin. It's Pete and repeat. <laughs> <laughs> Stop being, a, stop being a hater. No, that's yeah. the original. That's the remix. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. I'm newer. Yeah. I'm here. Maybe we'll get some stuff out this weekend, man. You know, got a lot of stuff going on. Need a lot of family members this weekend. A lot of family this weekend. Yeah. Give we'll hugs. Fun. Hugs. Excuse me. <laughs> I well, I did hug her. I had my umbrella. Ow! Your fault. Your fault. <laughs> okay, fam. There's a J. We'll get to know her a little more. Yeah, we're gonna get to know this weekend, get on some much videos, she's gonna get on some do some conversation pieces. You know, yep. we'll have, we'll have Jayla, a you're fun. gonna be busy this weekend, sorry. Yeah, have a little... About to work you. 
Huh? Follow your Instagram. Oh, you have to say it. You got to say it out loud. Follow my Instagram at Jayla. Jay Randall. <laughs> Jay Randall. Yeah, it's Jay Randall. J A I R A N D L E. If you have That's a question, what she said. Yeah, she probably will. That's what she okay. said. Okay. That's what it is. Follow on Instagram. Yep. Oh. Yep. Oops. Not me. Okay, let me see all three of you together, just because you're the only three that I have oh, here right I, now. I in the middle. There you go. Kid. This, this, this is me, fam. Mm. This is me, right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's yeah. awesome. What up, Blend? What up, family? Hello. We got Jayla here. The Chaos Conversations with Jayla. She in the house. Say what's up. What's up, Blended? She said, well, what she said, what's up? We're going to talk to Jayla today um, about, you know, she used to live here. Then she moved to St. Louis. And now, you know, she's in sports, getting good grades. You know, she's got a bright future ahead of her, her future dreams, plans. You know, she's on the right track. She's doing very good in school. Like again, man, um, A's, B's. What's your like, GPA right now? Do you remember it? We, I don't have one yet. Um, I mean, last year. I mean, last was, year. Um, it was? After finals, it was a three point two, I believe. On the four. Huh? On a four, on a four point oh. Yeah. So you get an A, mm -hmm. pretty much A. A's and B's. Yeah, but yeah. this year we don't have it yet because I don't have all my grades in yet because we didn't really. Right. It's just pretext. When you started though, family, um, you remember when you lived here? I mean, I remember, but not like everything. Well, right. We know not everything. Yeah. So how long have you lived in St. Louis? You remember? You know how long? Five you years. It's been five years, and you were how old? 10 when I moved there. You were 10 when you moved there, so you're how old now? 15. Oh, well, I guess that's five years. <laughs> I mean, fifth grade, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> I mean, almost six years. Yeah, so, so how was St. Louis compared to Indiana? Oh my gosh. It was very, it was very life changing. I didn't like it when I first got to St. Louis. It's very, like, people are actually meaner. And rude. Yeah, rude and then you hear nothing with like a lot of police sirens everywhere. But other than that, like I had to adapt to my environment so I like it now. But at first I didn't like it. It took me a couple of months to actually get used to it. So That's good. And then I never experienced that in Indiana. Yeah, well that's that's Saint Louis, man. Like I said, I'm from we're, I'm from Saint Louis, so it is a big difference from here to there. Um it's a bigger city. It's 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 a lot bigger. Mm -hmm. It's it's just way different. So, how was um, how many like how many sports have you played? Is I can't all even of count. them. <laughs> all yeah. of them. You've been. Um, you've done all kind of stuff. I mean, you know, let's see. Basketball, volleyball, track, um, swimming, boxing, boxing, karate. Yeah. Um. What else? I play tennis. Okay, what are you playing now? Tennis, and then I'm waiting for basketball season, and then I'm going to run track. And, and you're also involved with the step team? Oh, yeah. I just made the step team. So, we will try to get some videos out from that, from the tennis and step team, you know, when she gets old, when she does that stuff. We'll try to get small clips of that to show her in that way. Um, Living. Talking about, um, yeah, talking about when... You first met, like, the girls, and you first met Jennifer. You were, yeah, you were young. I don't remember. You, yeah, you were young. I don't remember that day <laughs> at all. Jill's been always the type of person. She's the type of person that she wants to make everybody happy. You know, she wants to see people just happy around her. She doesn't like drama and, you know, mm -hmm. all that stuff. She's a happy young lady. She wants, you know, she hates when her, her and her sisters are in conflict. She likes when they're talking, hanging out together. Um, she's just the one out of the girls that's, you know, they all have their differences. And just that one, she wants everybody to love and be happy and not fighting. But of course now. She's had her days. She's had her days where you know she gets mad at people and mad at them, and they talk it out though. It's their sisters. It's how it is. You know. Um, 
So what are your like? What are your tell tell everyone your like your future plans? What you want to do when you graduate high school? High school going on college? What do you want to do with your life? Well, I'm still looking at colleges. I already chose two of them that I was planning on going to, but after um, college, I was planning on majoring in mechanical engineering to build and design roller coasters for families and friends to have fun. Roller coasters. Yes. <laughs> She's been would, on I that mean, since. Yeah, how have you been Oh doing? my gosh. The first time I ever heard Jayla like say that, I think she was probably like five, six, yeah. maybe. Talking about roller coasters back then and she's yeah. still thinking the same thing today. Watching I mean, roller coaster videos. Make, yeah. Drawing, drawing. Drawing. Exactly. Roller coaster. I know we actually ice. have your first drawing of your roller coaster Ooh, in a box no. somewhere. Yeah we, yeah, we have to find that one day. I have made prototypes and everything, and some of them broke, but, so, <laughs> and then I'm already in the engineering class right now, so I'm actually trying to pursue my dream. So how is the engineering going, you know, it's engineering, like these classes nowadays, schools nowadays have these advanced classes, college course classes, and she's in the engineering program. How is that going? Well, it's PLTW, but it's... It's going good. I can tell you it's very challenging. It's not easy, but it's going to be worth it. All worth it. Work hard. Work hard for things you want. So this this year, are you in engineering this year? Yeah, the first one was intro introduction to engineering, and then the second one is, which I'm in now, is POE, which is principles of engineering. And I'm going to take it all four years, and hopefully my... Senior year, I'll be able to invent something, and I could become a millionaire off of it. They said, <laughs> so we're gonna see how well, that works. Hoping for that one. Yeah. <laughs> you know, she's she's positive. She has her dreams, goals, knows what she wants to do in life, and that's that's good. Especially being so young, she's got her mind, her her mindset, goal set. She knows what she wants to do. Um, anything else you has you that you thought about as far as? What you want to design or what you want to do or it's just been roller coasters i mean sometimes here and there i've kind of like gotten off of engineering only because it got hard but i can't give up on it so i thought about i'm still debating on carnival rides like like different things and roller coasters water slides um arcade games you know just anything. designing fun just, stuff yeah fun stuff basically i just want to i like to build things like Even if it's happiness. Yeah. So I have a question. Yep. Yeah. So my question is, you know, Jay, you're typically, you know, like when you're with your mom, like you're an only child. Yeah. So how does it feel, you know, with the blended chaos that we've kind of won over the years? Like, how does it, you know, how was it transitioning just to, you know, like, being an only child to a whole bunch of kids, yeah, being a here whole with, bunch of girls, being here with all your and sisters. then back to kind of like, you know, being, oh, you know, child. like... Yeah, yeah, being here with all your sisters, not being an only child. It's a big difference. And how, yeah. is it, how is it to you? Like, what do you, what can you tell other family members that how may be going times? through, like, the same yeah. thing, you know, to, to help them understand that you just have to accept some, you know, like, how, yeah. how's your take on it? Oh, having a lot of sisters and stuff like that, well, having siblings, it's kind of good at times because you have somebody to lean on or mm -hmm. someone to talk to mm -hmm. and someone who's always going to have your back. And good. then kind of transitioning yes. to being the only child, you kind of have to fall on yourself or de depend on yourself. You really have no one there to talk to unless it's like your mom or your dad or close family members. And you don't have someone to annoy you all day. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, have fun with. So I, when I'm like by myself, sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, I wish I had a sister or a brother here. And right. then. But same time, you get more things. I get. Okay, so the only bright child, side. About it, only child. <laughs> the bright side about it, you get. Basically, I get whatever I want, but I appreciate it. I'm not yeah. just like going around bragging about it. Right. She, um, you know, keeping her grades up. Things like that. She's getting bad grades and be disrespectful, mm -hmm. you know, bad. she wouldn't get the stuff, but, no. you know, she, the parents your appreciation when you can do for your child when your child does what they're supposed to do. Doing good, being respectful, things like that. And also the other good thing about it is you don't have to worry about anybody eating your food. <laughs> Taking your clothes. Taking my clothes, wearing my shoes. I'm like, 
<laughs> eating your food, huh? No, seriously, because sometimes my mom still eats my food and I get so <laughs> mad. It's just crazy, but I, I will kind of be the only child. I'm kind of stingy with my food now because I'm not used to sharing. <laughs> so when my friends come over and like, can I get them? I'm like, no. <laughs> so is there anything that you can also just give insight, like, you know, help another family member out there as far as like, you know, how you feel or what may they may be going through when it comes to, you know, step parents or other, you know, people being involved because there's a lot of people out there that, you know, have a really hard time accepting that other parent or that other person so, that's, you yeah, know, she, you know, I think we've asked like as, um, you accepting her, you know, just being there for you step parent um and then you have your mom but having other parent having a step parent in your life like what can you give other you know advice for yeah yes advice well, yes advice i'm sorry that's the word i was thinking of okay well if you have a step parent it's like they're not always just there they're there for a reason like jennifer helped me out a lot when i was little when things were happening personal reasons and it's like you don't always have to be like non accepting or a scared to scared to accept them because mm -hmm. they're there to help you. They're not there to just bully you around or anything. They're there to help you, give you advice, someone to fall back on. And like she has been there for me when I was younger and she still is, so but don't hey. just push them away. They're good. they're for a reason. That's good. I man. love That's her. Like I love her. You know, <laughs> we're all we're all one big family, man. You know, we come together end of the day this is who we have you know we have each other you know this, we're a family you know it's not always about you know because sometimes step parents you know you get mad I mean, you're not my parent but yeah. it's it, your kids you grow up you go through things in life mm -hmm. but you know as far as me with the other girls you know like my daughters man i love them i raise them as my own i want them to succeed in life we want our kids to be successful. That's what we want. Me too. But you know, Jayla, she's she's very smart. She's bright. She she's sometimes she seems wiser than her age. The way she talks, just the way she's with her homework, her schoolwork. You know, she will sit in. She will stay in the house sometimes and do homework instead of going out and playing with her friends. And we've always preached that to our you know our kids: homework first. You know, that's your future. Well, yeah, it was 1 o'clock in the morning last night. And she yeah, was she's, yeah. It's Saturday, morning, Saturday like night. Bedtime. Saturday night, family. We're, we're <laughs> finishing this video up. The reunion video. What is Jayla doing? Homework. On a Saturday <laughs> night. On vacation. On vacation. <laughs> doing homework. I mean, that's just shows how dedicated she is about her future and her life. And she wants, she's very positive. You know, and it's just like, you know, like I've, I've told her too. Instead of going outside sometimes, take the extra 30 minutes, half an hour, you know, to an hour, and study a little bit instead of going outside. It only benefit you. And how does that work for you? It's, it's worked a lot. Like, I, like, for some people, like, what I would tell you is that your friends might say, oh, come outside, or let's go to a house party. You can get that done later. Well, they're not going to be the one paying your bills, or mm -hmm. they're not going to be the one passing your test for you. If you don't pass, you have to go get your GED, which is twice as hard. They're not going to be the one saying, oh, it's okay, or trying to help you. They're just trying to have fun for them. Right. Because what so. if they already have their stuff done and you don't? They, they don't care about you. Well, see, like, like you told me before, too, Jayla, you know, you study for tests. You stay, instead of going outside, you stay in the house, study for tests. You got better grades than your friends got because they didn't study. Yeah, well, I have an experience of not studying, but I changed that real quick. Because I remember I didn't study for a couple, like, like two tests. Mm. <laughs> didn't do my so grades, good. Are, yeah, I was like, <laughs> I got to bring that back up. So I started studying and my grades shot up. So that's good. It's not studying, it's not going to be very good. You might want to study, even if right. you don't like it. Because once you go to college or if you're planning on going to college, you need to have study habits. Because college... It's all you. Your parents can't help you. When you get in trouble, your parents can't do anything about it. Your parents can't check your grades. It's all you. You're an adult, so you need to take your adult responsibilities. You know what it is, man. Just a little conversation piece with Jayla. You know, she's here for the weekend. She's going to be leaving tomorrow. Oh, already. You're going to miss her, man, but...
eventually, like I say, fam, we're going to get uh, Jayla set up to where she can send us uh, more videos of her being in St. Louis. And we get her on there more. Um, get that set up eventually. Just so she can be a part of all of this, too. But like I say, for now, man, she's so caught up with her, her schoolwork, her tennis, her uh, step team. I mean, you have to get to school. What time do you get up in the morning for school? Four o'clock. Four o'clock in the morning. Tell you how to catch the bus. Wait, what? What time do you catch the bus? Uh, well, I have to get up at four o'clock. My bus comes at five. So... Takes me a while to get ready, cause I have to get my sports things ready, my clothes, get myself ready, and eat breakfast. Make sure I don't miss anything. And what time does school start? School starts at 7:20. Well, that's well, we get to school at 6:59. School starts at 7:20. So she rides the bus for that long. I ride the bus for two hours, cause I'm the first stop. And, and the last stop at night. And I'm the last stop at night. So yeah. what time do you get out of school? I get out of school at. 220 but I stay after school for sports and to catch phone work and I don't get home until 7 o'clock So then I have to study do homework then see if I have time to go outside or go swimming and then By the time I go to bed all over again, so I barely get any sleep when you have sports What time do you get done and get get home from, from uh, your sporting events? What time do you oh, get done and get home? By 11 12 and she has to do homework and be up at 4 o'clock in the morning you know, and they're cutting bus routes and, and, and getting rid of teachers because of budgets. They're our future. You know, cutting bus routes, that's why she's going to be up so early because they cut bus routes, so she has to catch the bus a lot earlier. Yeah, we only have one bus. We had two last year, and they cut. We get transportation to our school for, like, we get transportation to the other schools for sports, but we don't get transportation back, and they're charging us $40. And last year they didn't charge us anything for their end back. So we don't get transportation back. We have to find a ride to pick us up. So you know, man, life is changing, family. But that's Jayla. I want to get her on here and conversation with Jayla. See the type of person she is. Like I said, you've seen the crazy videos of her. That was the crazy that was stuff. My <laughs> that was my twin. But that was it, family. She got Jayla on here. Like I said, we'll be doing more with Jayla in the future. You do good in school. You know, family will see you again. We love, we love this family. Gotta get out here, family. We gotta um, get to mom's for the rest of the reunion, the last day. So, with that being said, we gotta subscribe, like, comment, turn notifications on, share, spread the word. Everybody, she said it. Spread the word. Yeah. Before we get our family. Spirit fingers. <laughs> oh my god, I like I like jumped out of my skin. <laughs> oh my god, why would you do that? Oh, that is great. Time to get up. We gotta get ready for the family reunion. <laughs> time to get ready, family. Time to get ready for the family reunion. We're trying to have a good time, man. We're about to get y'all back. <laughs> We're about to get y'all back. I got a good idea too. I'm not okay, you. Oh, my heart is beating like 20 miles per hour. I hope you didn't get me jumping. Yeah, I got you jumping. You gonna get us back, huh? Yeah, I got an idea. I'm gonna tell Jayla. <laughs>